market. These days, Buenos Aires has turned into the assembly point of two radically different events. On one hand, the city hosted the 125th International Olympic Committee meeting that announced Tokyo as the venue of 2020 Games. But far from the elegance of the costly ceremonies, the streets of the local neighborhood of Palermo got filled with anti-imperialist protesters who marched on the U.S. Embassy and condemned Washington's warmongering policies. Lots of politicians and prime ministers whose hands are stained with blood of people attend the IOC meeting. A Spanish PM Mariano Rajoy and the Spanish royalty were here. Even Turkey's PM Erdogan, who is providing military aid to the so-called rebels so that they can attack Syrian government and people, was also a guest. Outside the U.S. diplomatic mission, left-wing social and political organizations and popular movements, as well as members of the Confederation of Argentine Arab Entities who organized the protest, were saying that this time Syria can count on support of people around the world. Syria has an anti-imperialist government that does not bow down before U.S. interests. It is necessary that we march for peace. We are completely against that bloodthirsty country that has supported all Latin American dictatorships and has always been behind the most sinister things that the world has faced. Unlike the 2003 invasion of Iraq, which was launched under the guise of Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction, anti-U.S. protesters say this time global condemnation of a military strike on the Arab nation has mounted pressure on Washington to desist or at least think twice before carrying on with its war threats. They are not having things easy because the world is changing. We are seeing it in Latin America. Besides, the U.S. is losing its hegemony. Syria is becoming a great lesson to the U.S. It is already a lesson that the U.S. could not unilaterally invade Syria like it did in Iraq, Libya or Afghanistan. As they approached the embassy, strictly guarded by police, some groups of activists torched U.S. and Israel flags and distributed leaflets that mentioned some reasons why the West has its eyes on the Middle Eastern country. Syria has no debt to the IMF or other international fund lenders. Syria opposes Zionism and Israeli criminal apartheid. And Syrian population is well informed and frequently debates on the establishment of a new world order, pamphlets read. Meanwhile, Argentine Peace Prize laureate Adolfo Perez Esquivel personally written a letter to U.S. President Barack Obama, who received Oslo's award in 2009. Perez Esquivel has accused Obama's administration of being a complete danger for international stability and turning the Arab Spring into NATO's hell. Constanza Heller, Press TV, Buenos Aires.